Hi everybody, this is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, Texas on Thursday, January the 3rd, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, we have a new Congress today. We have a new speaker in the House. Mrs. Pelosi is back for the second time as uh, speaker. And over in the Senate, uh, we now have two more Republicans, making it 53 Republicans in the U.S. Senate. And I think the Democrats have a majority of about 16 to 18 votes in the House. Uh, so that's where we are. That's where we are. Nancy Pelosi uh, will be the speaker. She'll be the focus of a lot of the attention today, of course, as she becomes uh, the speaker for the second time. But, you know, I, I think that Nancy Pelosi is going to find it very difficult to manage this Republic, this Democrat group. I mean, I don't think her problems are going to be Donald Trump or the Republicans. Her problems are going to be uh, the left wing of the Democrat Party that wants to do certain things that are simply never going to get done. And then you have a more centrist wing of the party, the, the basically the people who were elected to make her the speaker. Uh, they represent districts where, you know, things are not quite as radical. The views are not quite as radical as they are, let's say, in the California delegation and so on. So she's going to have to really go back and forth between these two groups and uh, every bit of her uh, negotiating talent is going to be put to the test. This is not going to be an easy time for these Democrats in Congress. I predicted the other day that the Democrats are going to implode, and I think they will. I think they will. I think in 2019, you're going to see serious cracks in the Democrat Party between the left wing and the more centrist wing of the party. Again, these centrists are the ones who made it possible for Nancy Pelosi to get elected. And uh, they're not going to go crazy with all these uh, left-wing ideas that we're hearing from California or that new young woman from New York and all of that. So it's going to be interesting to watch. It's going to be interesting to watch. Over in the Senate, it looks like the Republicans are holding firm. All 53 Republicans look like they are supporting President Trump. So that's good for, for President Trump. What happens with the shutdown? I, I really don't know at this point. I don't think that anything's going to happen in the next couple of days. Uh, but I do believe Nancy Pelosi will start coming into pressure, under pressure here uh, from many of these more moderate members of, of the Democrat Party who do not want to be uh, seen as weak on border security. That's not where you want to be when you're seeking re-election in a couple of years, particularly in some of these districts. Uh, a lot of these new members, uh, House members, who won many of these districts were elected with like 1% or 2% of the votes. So they're facing... They're already facing a very competitive re-election in 2020. And I'm not sure that uh, being on the wrong side of border security is going to make you uh, re-electable in many of these districts. So we'll see what happens. Uh, a lot of time ahead, you know, lots of time to see what happens. We do congratulate all the new members, wish them well, and uh, I hope they get something done. I think that's what people want. They want to get something, something done, some of these big issues they want to... They want to get some of this stuff done. Well, thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if January the 3rd is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.